Okay, so for today's video, I'm going to uh, show you how to um, replace or try and fix, uh, try and quiet down the power supply on an HP computer. Now this is a this is an HP 6200 60, Pro, small form factor, and the fan in the power supply is pretty noisy. Now what I did, it was actually very noisy, uh, making weird noises like there were bearing problems or something, and I don't know whether these fans have ball bearings or whether they have sleeve bearings, I have no idea, but it was making really weird noises, like they weren't constant noises, they were coming and going and getting louder and softer. So um, I'm going to show you how to open up the power supply and and then we'll take the fan out and well I can show you how to remove the fan and then if you had a replacement fan you could just screw in the new fan and then put the power supply back together plug in plug everything in and you're good to go. Now if you don't have a replacement fan like me then you can try and uh, get access to the sh to the shaft, um, the motor shaft, I don't know what it's called, and then you can put a drop of oil on that, put it back together, and maybe that'll quieten it down. So first of all, of course, you want to unplug the power supply. So you've got this connector here, which is for the fan in the power supply, so unplug that. And then you've got this connector here. Let me see if I can see if this one here. So it's got a little catch on it. So you just push the catch in and pull that out. That's um, one of the main power supply connectors, I guess, for the board. And then the other one, the other connector, you can lift up the optical drive bay like so. And then the other power cable goes in here and then in through this little channel right here. So you just uh, pull that, oh, you can't see what I'm doing. Just pull that out of the plastic clip that's holding it. This is the, the shroud for the CPU cooler. And then follow the wires down below the shroud here and you've got another connector like this one. And you just push the peg in. You might want to remove the shroud it makes it a little bit easier all you have to do is to remove the shroud is just lift it up like that easy peasy and then down here you can see right here is the the power connector so you push the pin in gently and then just lift out the connector and that's it this is a really easy power supply to get undone so then as i was saying uh, let me see. Then you you line the pegs up with these slots right here, and then you just lift the. Sorry, I'm out of focus, but the camera's focusing over here, unfortunately. So you just lift the power supply out like that, and then we can go ahead and open that power supply up in order to access the fan. Okay, so here we have the power supply removed from the computer. And I've never opened one of these before, so I'm just going to go by what I see. Now, one thing you have to be careful with with power supplies, I don't know anything about power supplies, but all the videos I've watched on YouTube, they say that they can be very dangerous because the capacitors that are inside power supplies store a lot of energy and if the when you unplug the power supply the power supply still contains a lot of stored energy in the capacitors so if you open it up and it still has energy in it and you short some components or you touch some components you could get shocked and apparently it can be quite high voltage so what I did is when I turned this power supply off I turned the computer off rather then I unplugged the power cord and then I pushed and held down the power button on the computer in order to drain the voltage 
that's stored in the power supply. Now, whether or not that works, I have no idea. It's been six hours since I did that, so there shouldn't be any energy in this power supply now. Uh, five screws to remove. Okay, so there's one here on this side. There's one on the other side over here, over here. And then there's another screw right here. Oops, get it in the frame. Here's another screw here. And on the back side, there's four screws. And I thought they were all holding the fan in. But these top two screws, which look like this, they're machined screws. They look like that. And these two screws have to be removed. So remove this one and remove that one. And the bottom two screws you don't have to remove right away. And then what you do is you uh, put your fingers under, underneath this metal piece here and you lift up, move the wires out of the way, you lift up the back of the cover and then at the front here you've got a, a flat metal piece that slots into a, a groove. So you lift, lift this up and and then you pull it out at the back. There we go. So then you lift that out. You can see the flat, you can see the flat part right here that slots in at the back. Okay. Fan is in there like that. It's plugged in right here. So you unplug that and then you slide it out after you remove these bottom two screws. This one and this one. Remove those two screws, slide the fan out like that. Remove this sticker and and then put a drop of oil on the the motor spindle which should be visible when you remove the sticker. However, when I removed the sticker, I'll show you. There was nothing you couldn't see the motor spindle. But there this black piece right here is actually a, a like a rubber plug and you have to remove that plug and then you see the motor spindle I've never seen a motor like that before so um, the ones that I've opened this is our this has always been opened so what you do is take like an exacto knife or something and stick it underneath this rubber piece and then you just pull it out like that and now you can see there's the motor spindle right there. And that's where you want to put in the oil. But the guy on the internet said he recommended um, WD-40 on, on the spindle. Now, everyone I've ever talked to about WD-40 says that WD-40 is not a lubricant and so you shouldn't use it in applications like this. Now I agree with that because WD stands for water displacement and it's really, this is, WD-40 is really a penetrant. Now it has a lubricant in it. So, you know, I guess in applications like this, it should work okay, but um, because this fan is turning so poorly I'm going to use the WD-40 instead of the oil because um, it's very WD-40 is very runny and I think it will penetrate better and loosen this fan up. Okay, so we got a piece of cardboard, a couple pieces of cardboard, and I'm just going to shake up the WD-40, the guy says, and then Spray it in here. I don't have the straw because my dad always loses the straws. So give it a give her a good squirt, and then start spinning the blade. I'm going to move mine in and out too since mine is moves a lot. Oh yeah. Way better already. Way better. I'm just going to clean the blades and wipe up the WD-40 and then I'm going to 
put the sticker back on. Got some rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna wipe up the WD-40 because if you don't clean this off, the sticker is not gonna stick on again. So we'll do that, get some alcohol. Just wet the cotton ball here a little bit. Too much. Might as well do the fan blades since I got too much alcohol on this cotton ball. As soon as this dries, it's still a little bit wet. I got it wet again. Put the sticker back on. Nope, oh, I put the rubber thing back in there. Rubber plug. And my sticker does not want to stick back on, which I figured. And we're going to reinstall the fan with the <coughs> blades facing like this. Like that. So we want the scoop of the blades facing the, the back of the power supply. And then insert the fan. Like so. Okay, make sure it's all the way down. Now on my power supply, this was the the fan wire here was zip tied onto this onto this these few cables right here so it was it was um, zip tied like that and then plug it in to the fan header and and that's it and screw put the screws back in on the back to do this left-handed. <coughs> okay, so we have to replace this zip tie that was on here. And then we have to do the zip tie that was through here. Okay, so put the zip tie through there. The pins are behind this piece of metal, that, this, the top piece that you push in there. The pins go behind it. Let me show you. There, you can see the pins are behind. Okay, because mine doesn't fit the other way properly, so I'm going to go with this method of now everything lines up properly. And then you can zip tie this back down. Well, I'll put the screws in first. Okay, so all the screws are back in. And 
Make sure the steel is on the outside here and here. Here. Make sure it's on the outside. And I'll zip tie this back down. And we should be good to go. We should have a nice quiet fan now. Now we'll reinstall the power supply the way we took it out. Here. Reinstall the shroud. And the power cable goes through this connector as well, this clip. There we go, all back together. Everything's plugged in. Now we'll get the, the power cord and then we'll turn it on. And it's nice and quiet now. And it's booting into Windows. So there you go. I hope that you found this video helpful. And uh, thank you for watching.